Hello everyone, Censored here. Uh, on today's episode, I will be doing a update on my channel. Because I'm going to be doing some changes. Uh, one of the changes is... I will no longer be calling myself Censored when I introduce myself in the videos. I will be going by Please my gamer tag. Hero. Which is Cloud, if any of you wondered. And the reason why I'll be going by my gamer tags because it just it feels a little weird I calling myself censored when I'm so used to being called Cloud. Yeah. My YouTube channel is going to remain censored. And the only thing that's really going to change is going to be my intro. So instead of saying hello everyone, I'm censored, I'm going to say hello everyone, I'm Cloud. And on today's episode of Censored. And well, with that out of the way, which was probably the hardest thing for me to uh, talk about. I've been thinking about how to say this for about a week. I was actually going to try to make this video about a week ago, and I just didn't know how to get the words out. But yeah, I am making some changes to my channel. I'm not going to call well, myself censored yeah. anymore. I'm going to call myself Cloud. Because, well, let's just say if you ever find me on a video game, I'm most likely going to go by Cloud. And because the goal behind my YouTube channel was I always kind of want to make something like a TV show, kind of like Electric Playground or Prepare X-Play. Or Filter, Cheats, Pringles, Gamer's Guide. You know, basically like G4 TV or Tech TV and attack at the show and the idea was to just make a channel by a gamer for gamers and nerds and people that love I'm cartoons and movies and music and other than doing just let's plays I wanted to basically just talk and so with this being my first kinda talking episode that's not just a let's play I will be talking about some new releases. For example, this game right here. If you have a PlayStation 4, you will be able to download a new free MOBA called Genesis. That's actually pretty good. Basically, if First you're like blood. me and you always wanted to play games like League of Legends, but you never could because you don't have a strong PC or a PC at all. Well, now you can play a League of Legends style game in the form of Genesis. As a free to download game, you can find it at the PSN store right now. As a very fun game. And if you have an Xbox, they also have a new free downloadable game called Vigor, which I have yet to play. All I know is I believe you're in a post apocalyptic Norway, I think, or Poland. And I believe it is like a PUBG kind of open world battle royale style game. With survival elements, like I know you have to build a base and stuff, and you have to collect supplies. Which is pretty cool, I plan on download that, downloading it on my Xbox in the future. I just have yet to download it. And you can download that game for free on the Xbox Live Store. Meanwhile, another kind of... I'm not sure if it's considered a MOBA game. I know it's like a... Battle Arena game, so I guess kind of, yeah, a MOBA game. Is out for Android and iOS, I believe. Anyway, it's called Gears Pop. It's by the guys that made Gears of War. Uh, the Coalition and the Microsoft Store. And I would highly recommend downloading the game. It's very, very fun. I've been playing it non-stop almost every day since it came out. I 
Oh, sorry. Got a little distracted. <clears throat> but yeah, Gears of Pop. Great game. I would highly recommend downloading that. Also, they have a new Pokemon Masters game. I haven't tried that one yet. I actually downloaded it. And it kind of drained my battery. So I had to delete it. I plan on playing it in the future. But for now, I'm all about the Gears Pop because that game is just way too addicting. And in other news, other than video games, new releases, like... I believe a new game by the developers that did Until Dawn is up, which looks very interesting. It's called Dark Pictures Man of Maiden, and it looks very interesting. Explosive. Surprisingly, it wasn't Jacksepticeye or Markiplier that I saw playing the game first, it was actually Face Jeff, which I was actually very happy to see because I haven't seen him play anything for a while other than Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, the same one I just did a walkthrough on. Which was fun. It was nice seeing him play something different, you know. And it looks like a great game. So that's one of the new releases out. That looks really, really good. And other than that, other new releases, I believe, I believe Control came out, finally. And it's been kind of rockety, I guess, on the reviews. I think that's simply because the fact developers are saying that it is technically a next-gen game and I heard something about it crashing consoles or something like that. Which I found really interesting because it's a game I actually really, really want. Because it's made by one of my favorite developers of all time. Because I believe it's the same guys that did... I keep forgetting the name of the game. It's on the 360. It's like, it's about you're fighting like these monsters of darkness, and it was really, really cool. Alan Wake, that's the name it is. That and Quantum Theory, or Quantum Shift, or something like that. It's with the guy that plays Iceman, I believe. That or his brother. And I kind of hope they fix the problems on the game for Control, because it's a game I really, really want to play and get into. I still have to time or to cash to get the game because there's so many other games I want to get at the moment. Plus, later on in the month, you have the new Gears 5 coming out, which I am really psyched for. Like, I can't wait for that game. No, I can't wait to just get a Gears of War themed Rockstar can, to be honest, though. Alone would be cool. And plus, other news. Other unfortunate news Your within the anime and the voice acting world. Michael Lindsay, the voice of Konkuro and Urahara, oh, has passed away, unfortunately. Which middle tower is, is really, really attack. sad because, you know, he's such a great voice actor and he played some of my favorite characters in anime, like Udahara from the Bleach series. You can't run from me. So, that sucks. He unfortunately passed away at the age of 56. Which, you know, is really, really sad. You know, my respects for his family and his friends. You know, he was a great voice actor. I think he will definitely be remembered, for sure. I'll ye to the so, for Mr. Lindsay, I, you know, I pray the best for you in the afterlife. You know, you will be missed. You're a great voice actor, you're a great actor in person. You know, in general, and, you know, from what I heard, you're just a really nice, good person. So, you know, you have my respects, and everyone's respects here on the Censored channel. So, you know, you, know, you will be missed. And in other news, after that unfortunate uh, news about Mr. Lindsay, uh, new theories, I guess, have been leaked about the new Star Wars movie. And apparently, 
the theory is that well first I guess the leak was done by the same individual who supposedly this time. Uh, leaked information about Ewan McGregor playing as Obi-Wan Kenobi again and well we all know that's now confirmed true so the new theory is that or supposed leak is and spoiler alert for those of you that don't want any spoilers for the new Star Wars movie the rumor has it that your middle tower is under attack Ray is actually related to Emperor Palpatine and how she is related is that she is the biological granddaughter your middle tower of is the Emperor under Palpatine. attack. So I found that really interesting. I actually didn't think of that. Like I thought of her being a clone or maybe a secret what apprentice or something. But I never thought of her being like a biological um, relative. But I like the idea though. And in a way I kinda hope it's true. Cool. Because it just seems like something that'd be really, really cool if Ray was actually somehow related to one of the most interesting evil and favored villains in in my opinion film history. Is that Prince Palpatine? He's hands down one of my favorite villains of all time. I mean, he's the evil space wizard. He's the one guy that I could play Star Wars Battlefront 2, whether it is fallen. the remake or the original, and I can literally just be an evil old I space wizard, just doing terrible things to people. Basically electrocuting people to death. So I find that interesting if that is true, and in ways I kind of hope it's true, because it'd just be a really, really cool you can't run from me twist that even I didn't think about. Because I think everyone is so bent on Rey being a Skywalker or a Kenobi that that's pretty much what people want. And personally I would rather go with the, pa the Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter because it just seems more sinister in a way. And I think for the people that don't watch the spoilers it would be Watch more of a Jolly shocking you know reveal and it would kind of show why she's so strong in the force because the Emperor Palpatine was a very well gifted individual with the force and another new release which I completely forgot I apologize with how amateur this little, I don't even know what to call it, video is. I completely forgot a highly, highly anticipated game is coming out. And that game is the one and only Final Fantasy 7, no, Final Fantasy 8 remake a remastered edition it comes out this month and it's only 19.99 I believe I really really hope that is true because if it is that is awesome yeah it is only 19.99 I'm very looking forward to this because I really want to do Final Fantasy Let's Plays in the future, even though they're really, really long games. Like it. It's already bad enough I'm trying to do a Let's Play on Red Dead Redemption, and it's like a 60 hour long campaign. But I would love to just never beat in Final Fantasy 8. And I've been wanting to. Like, I actually get close. I think I'm on the third disc. Right before the final boss where you fight Cypher. Before you go to the fourth disc. And I just haven't really played it. 
Like I have to dig out my PS2 and find my PS1 games that have to pop it in. So I kind of look forward to playing on the PS4 Your with the newer graphics, which attack. I think look wonderful. Your middle tower has fallen. But I think what I'm going to do with the Final Fantasy um, series is I'm going to try and buy 8 and 9 because I already own 7 and the 10 HD collection. And I need to buy 12. Which. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I don't know why. I do like the game. I've never beaten that one either. Unfortunately, I've only beaten seven, I think. And I think doing the whole YouTube thing will give me a reason to actually beat all the Final Fantasies. So that is another new release. Now that with the other gaming news. I just found out that Sony pulled the game Drive Club from the PlayStation Store, which I was very upset about simply because I really, really wanted to buy a Drive Club and I never did. So it's going to be really hard for me to find a game because now I have to find a physical copy. So either A, I have to go to like a GameStop that hopefully has the game, or I will have to go on like eBay or something and pray and hope I get a good copy there or Amazon or something like that. Brutal. Because I'm not the biggest racer. I have been getting into racing games as I've gotten older. I guess one thing I love about Grand Theft Auto online is all the racing stuff you get to do. And yeah, I guess a lot of people are really mad because they did it 24 hours before the date they were supposed to take it down, which that really, really sucks. And with other kind of bad news, I guess games that would be taken offline, at least on the PS3, is the Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, and the Last of Us multiplayer. They're taking that off uh, offline, yes, basically. So if you're still playing those games on the PS3, you'll no longer be able to play the online. Sensational tower is which under attack. It's pretty sad anyway. You know. It always sucks to see that happen. I mean you know it's gonna happen, especially with new gens. Personally I didn't even think you could play those games on those consoles still. Otherwise I probably would have hooked up my PS3 and played some Uncharted 3. Because on the PS3 days I had played two games online constantly, and that was either. Your top tower has fallen. That was either Uncharted 3 or it was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Your top well, tower for those of you that have attack. PS3s and you know you no longer play those games, uh, it sucks. But you know, sympathies, I guess. Destructive. Your top tower Just like what happens, but you know what's gonna happen. Take that, ye scurvy dog. I apologize if I get quiet. I am kind of doing this live. I am playing. <laughs> And doing this at the same time, I know I probably shouldn't, I should probably just record it something, but like I said, it's my first half of video of doing this, and I plan on at least doing one, a couple a week, at least. Oh, and I guess for the future PlayStation Plus games, I guess, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this by now, but I guess the first, the PlayStation Plus games for next month are going to be Batman Arkham Dark Knight, which is a great game. You know, like I already owned the game, 
And I think it's awesome for those of you that don't own the game, you'll finally be able to get the game. Because Batman Dark Knight, or Arkham Knight, is such a great game. And I think people are truly getting a gift this September, or this month I should say. I don't know why I said next month, it's already September now. And yeah, it's just going to be a great game. And the other game that's coming out this month as well is Darksiders 3, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Because I remember playing Darksiders 1 when it first came out, and I wasn't super into it, but that's because I wasn't really into those games. And then I bought Darksiders 2, and I got really into the game. I got into the game to the point where I basically bought Darksiders 1 War Mastered Edition, which I love how they say that's the Remastered Edition. So, for those of you that are wondering what the games are, the enemy's bottom tower has fallen. For this month, it is going to be Batman Arkham Knight, hands down one of the greatest superhero games of all time. I don't care what people say about the Batmobile segments, I love those segments. That's the reason why I beat the game like 10 times, because I just love being in a freaking tank, blowing up other tanks, I love vehicular combat. And the Darksiders 3, I'm really looking forward to because I want to continue the story of the Darksiders. I want to see what happens. And because... I... I don't know. I really hope to make a fourth one. I hope the game sells well. Or has sold well. I know they have another Darksiders coming out. I think Darksiders Genesis. Which I'm really looking forward to as well, even Your though it's a top down kind of game. Attack. And I guess some more, some bad news. Under if you're a hardcore Grand Theft Auto fan, Diabolical. rumor has it that in order to buy Grand Theft Auto 6, you're gonna have to buy a new console because it will not be Diabolical. this gen. At least that's what they are saying. Now, personally, I don't know. I don't look at it as a bad thing. Because that just means it's probably going to be a huge game. And I really kind of look forward to it. Because I always look forward to the Grand Theft Auto games in any Rockstar game, to be honest. Still anxiously waiting and hoping and praying and wishing that they make a Bully 2. Which, probably not going to get in time soon. Like, even if it was in, like, a Bullsworth, like, college or something, that would be awesome. But, I think we pretty much all know that's not going to happen anytime soon. That or another L.A. Noir would be cool. Because that was a good game I consider it a sleeper. Because if you're like me and you love detective stuff, it's basically what that game was. You're basically Dick Tracy and you're going around and you're solving crime and all these murders and it was pretty it was an awesome game in my opinion but yeah that's some bad news for the gaming industry and some interesting news is about the leaked PS5 dev kit and the reason why is because some people are liking it some people are hating it like, I've talked to people, like my dad, he likes it, he thinks it looks cool. I've talked to some of my co-workers, they like it and don't like it. I kind of do and don't, but I know it's not the final product. I know it's not what the PlayStation 5 is going to look like. Personally, I'm really interested in the controller. Like, what's the PS5 controller going to be like? Is it going to be a updated PS4 controller? Is it going to be something completely new? Are we going to finally get that boomerang from the PS3 to the PS4? Are we possibly going to get basically a scuff controller, which would be awesome? Like, just imagine PS5 controller has like military grade grids and it has like two button things on the back or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. How about for me? I don't know. I'm into that stuff. I like the scuff controllers. I think they're really, really cool. Avast 
but so far it's just speculations. I was watching Mystic. He always seems to have pretty good news and stuff. And I like how he does his news. So I kind of agree with him though. I don't think that's going to be the final kind of product for the PlayStation 5. And I'm just really, really excited for it. And I'm looking forward to it. Same with the Xbox Scarlet. Because rumor has it on the Xbox Scarlet is that they're going to be using new tech that no one else has ever had. And the fact that they're doing supposedly new tech that no one's ever had is pretty interesting. Because no new tech, it just means, you know, better looking games, bigger worlds, crazy stuff. And in ways, more freedom for developers to do. So, you know, I'd love to hear your opinions on the new PS5 and the new Xbox Scarlet consoles. Your now, feel free to comment your, under your middle tower opinions has on the new comp consoles. And some other good news, I guess, on the control, or for the game controls, I guess Remedy is looking into improving the control console performance, which is really, really good, because, you know, you can't really have something that's not playable. And I guess for some Star Wars Clone Wars, or Star Wars fandom news, the Clone Wars will officially begin a proper ending. Which is great news for those of you that really fallen. enjoyed the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series. Personally, I never really watched all of them. Because to me, the really only Clone Wars I ever watched was the animated series by the guy that did um, Samurai Jack. Which to me is always going to be a favorite. So, I actually plan on attempting to watch the Star Wars Clone Wars CG animated series because all the good stuff I've heard and I've seen some of the last season they did and I thought it was really really cool so that's gonna be great news for the Star Wars fans especially fans of the Clone Wars animated series that it is finally going to be getting a legit ending which is always good Especially when it comes to Star Wars, because lately with the last couple of movies, you know, the Star Wars fandom deserves some fan service, you know. And from what it says, you know, its characters are going to live on, which I think is good. I hope to see characters like Ahsoka, maybe even Rex inside a live Your middle movie. Tower is That'd under be cool. attack. Or Thrawn. Or Cad Bane, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Mainly Th Thrawn. He's a favorite character of mine. I remember reading some of the books about him. Your middle tower is under attack. And him, I would really look forward to seeing in a live action movie. And for the comic nerds out there and people, apparently there's rumor that there will be a African American Defeat. Batman, which is going to be interesting. Because I think they did that before with the Batman verse type thing or whatever. He went to Africa and he kind of like trained a person there to be a Batman. And it said that he's going to somewhat reflect Samuel Jackson in a way, which I kind of look forward to. Or really look forward to. From the images I see, they look pretty cool. I think it's cool how they're kind of changing Batman and adding Batmans. So, for the Batman fans out there, that's going to be pretty cool. Getting a new Batman. And for other comic book news, also with DC, it appear, or it would appear that the new Joker movie will be getting a R rating. Which I am actually very happy about. Because I want them to go all out with this movie. I want them to give the Joker the movie that he should have. Because the Joker is hands down one of the most recognizable characters of all time, in my opinion. Especially if you grew up 
like from the 60s to the 90s to now because Batman like I think when it comes to two of the most popular superheroes in my opinion it's either Batman or Iron Man or even Spider-Man but I'm gonna go with Batman and Iron Man because I always feel like they reflect each other simply because both of them are multi-billionaires they're rich they're you know these people with large influence and money and the reason why I say they reflect each other is because Batman is dark and gritty you know he's the opposite of Iron Man he's very private he goes out only at night has secrets and then you have Iron Man who's very colorful he's got his hot rod colors the red and the gold he's very you know outgoing he doesn't even hide the fact that he's Iron Man he craves the attention and they both have their addictions Batman is addicted to being Batman Iron Man is actually addicted to alcohol and stuff like that and they both have their insecurities so to see the Joker who is on that level get a movie of his own I really really hope that there's good you know Joaquin Phoenix he's a great actor he's done some weird movies he's done some good movies but I think they picked the perfect actor to play as the Joker and I think the cast is quite good too I mean you have let's see yeah Zazie Beats, who played in Deadpool as Domino. You have Robert De Niro. You know, if you have Robert De Niro on it, it's probably going to be pretty good. You Mac Maron, or Marin, my bad. Dante Pierre Olsen, Francis Conroy, and Brick Holland, and many, many more. And I'm just really, really looking forward to the Joker movie. It looks awesome. And well, I guess with that, uh, being said, I pretty much covered some stuff about the video game news. I covered some stuff about comics, some unfortunate stuff, especially about actor Michael Lindsay. You know, you're going to be missed. You're a great actor. It's unfortunate that you died so young, because 56 is not old. It's yeah, 56. You know, that's just so young. It sucks that he passed away so early. My condolences to the family. You know, he will be missed. And, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Censored. So I'm your host, Cloud. I hope you guys don't mind the change in my YouTube channel. And, uh, I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you next time.